Hi, kids. Welcome to the Storytime family. We are going to be reading Eric and the Red Planet, a space adventure with numbers by Carolyn Glickspin. Let's check it out. Eric and the Red Planet. Eric is a very unusual bear. He's red and he's very, very clever, especially with numbers. He loves numbers as much as he loves honey. So put honey and numbers together and you get Eric's dream breakfast, a bowl of honey number puffs. Every morning, Eric has a special way of adding up his breakfast cereal. But this morning, a card fell into his bowl. It says, please turn over. It said, congratulations, you are eating the millionth box of honey number puffs. Bring a friend to the space bar space base and enjoy a day in a million. For the first time ever, Eric didn't add up his breakfast. He didn't even eat it. Instead, he rushed to the phone and 10 minutes later, he was scooting out of town with his best friend, Erica, the only bear he has ever met who loves numbers as much as he does. The space base was very exciting. Eric and Erica were given their very own spacesuits and shown around by a very important bear. They saw 10 computers in mission control, nine posters of different planets, eight astronauts training, seven busy robot bears, six saw in the rocket workshop, five bears painting rockets, four bears carrying clipboards, three boxes of space biscuits, two bears pushing scooters, and one huge tank of honey, the very best fuel for sending bear rockets into space. The most exciting part of Eric's prize was a visit to the fastest rocket ever built. His fuel tank had just been filled up with 10 huge jars of honey, ready to go to Mars. Eric couldn't resist pressing some of the bright red flashing numbers, just like a real astronaut counting down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off! And before Eric and Erica knew what had happened, the rocket shot off to Mars. Oh no, Eric. Wow, there's my house. Where's your house? Is it this one? Oh, it's that one. Eric and Erica soon got the hang of floating around in the cabin. Looks like fun, isn't it? Before long, they were hungry. Luckily, Erica found 10 huge jars of honey in the cupboard. Erica ate two jars and Eric ate three. Well, it's a long way to Mars. As soon as they landed on Mars, Eric and Erica climbed out of the rocket. They were the first bears ever to set foot on the red planet. It's not as red as I expected. Erica took lots more photos. Eric collected lots of rocks. But it was very cold and Earth looked a long way away. Suddenly, they felt lonely. It was time to go home. They climbed back into the rocket. It was much warmer inside. Ten seconds to lift off, said Eric. He counted down just as before, pressing each button in turn. Nothing happened. Eric couldn't understand what was wrong. He was sure he hadn't made a mistake with his counting. Suddenly, Erica grabbed his paw. Look, she gasped. The fuel tank, it's empty. We're stuck on Mars. Eric thought very hard. The rocket had used 10 jars of honey to fly to Mars, so it must need another 10 to fly home. The honey, he said. He ran to look in the cupboard. There were only five jars left. Well, it's no use getting halfway home, said Erica. She licked her paw thoughtfully. Then suddenly, Erica started jumping around the cabin. Eric, she shouted. 
The dust on my paws, it's sweet. There's honey on Mars. Eric looked at the rocks he collected. They were melting. He gave one of them a careful lick. It was honey. Luckily, there was a saw for use in an emergency. Eric and Erica climbed back outside. They sawed a hole through the frozen rock. There was warm, gooey honey underneath. Once the tank's full, let's fill up all ten jars again. Then we can eat six on the way home. And we'll have four jars for a getting home party. They filled up the five empty jars with honey. Now they had ten full jars, enough to fill the tank right up. Everything was very sticky, and Eric glowed very red. At last, they climbed back into the rocket. Eric took a deep breath and counted down once again. Phew! With a huge roar, the rocket shot back towards Earth. Eric and Erica floated happily around the cabin. Well, I'm glad we didn't end up stuck on Mars," said Erica. "I know," said Eric, licking a sticky Martian rock. But imagine living on a planet made of honey. Erica smiled. Perhaps someone does," she said. The end. Did you like Eric and the Red Planet? We did. Give us a like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.